everybody. Welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo, and I've got a very awesome fan casting for you. I know this one's something that a lot of people have been requesting uh, direct messages and uh, writing to me in the email and just saying, hey, can you please do a Batman fan casting? And I actually have been wanting to do this for some time now, but now that it's official that Ben Affleck is officially stepped down as the Batman in the DC EU. Um, we now need a replacement and this is perfect timing. I've been wanting to do this and now is just, it's the appropriate time to do that now because Warner Brothers is certainly looking for someone to step in and fill the role of, of Batman in the DCEU current continuity, the timeline, as he's an older man. Obviously, Matt Reeves' Batman is going to be 20 years in the past which makes him a much younger man, 25 years of age, which means you can't have the same actor um, realistically play both roles. So that we're looking at having two different actors. So today we're going to be fan casting the older actor to replace Ben Affleck. So I tried to pick a lot of actors that would fit in that role. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that again. It's Ben Affleck we're replacing. We're not doing Matt Reeves, the Batman, the younger version, around 25 years of age. This one is going to be closer to 45 years of age. So I picked actors within that ballpark. So let's go ahead and shift screens now so that we can start taking a look at these over here. The comic book uh, height for Batman is 188 centimeters. Adam West is 188, uh, right on the money, right where the comic book um, size for Batman is. Michael Keaton a little bit shorter, but still a lot of people prefer Michael Keaton's. Some people like Val Kilmer's the most um, in 1995. At 183, he was a little bit bigger, which was nice. It's nice to have a big, um, imposing superhero people can look up to literally. Val, uh, I'm sorry, George Clooney was a little bit smaller than that, but not as small as Keaton. Christian Bale was not super big, although there was the illusion that he was a bigger dude. And that was almost a lot of people's favorites uh, in modern days. Lego Batman, not a live action. We're going to go ahead and skip that, even though he's one of my favorites. I love the Lego Batman. And Ben Affleck, who we are seeking to replace, who is an absolute giant. So I show this to point out the fact that most of my picks are going to be a little bit taller, but not all of them. And it's not the end of the world because... There's been quite a spectrum of height for Batman um, over the years. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So first up, my first pick to play Bruce Wayne to replace Ben Affleck is Eric Bana. And yes, he played the Hulk back in 2003. He was in Troy, Dirty John, um, the other Bolin girl. He's been in a lot of things and he can play someone that's very classy. And that's something that I think is very important for uh, whoever's going to be playing Bruce Wayne. And uh, one thing that everybody really liked about Ben Affleck's Batman is that he really was able to convey um, size. He was able to convey strength. Um, he did seem very physically imposing when you would see him on screen. And Eric Bana is six foot two. He's 50 years old, so he's a little older than um, current uh, where, where Ben Affleck is right now. He's, I think, 45 or 46. And um, so he's close. He's in that ballpark, but he can also, I think he would knock Bruce Wayne out of the park. Now, this is something that I liked about Ben Affleck was that his Bruce Wayne felt like the mask. And one thing that fans of Batman know is that Batman is the true identity of Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is not the true identity of Batman. It, it seems as though it would be like a Clark Kent, Superman type of thing where he has the alter ego. And when he puts on a suit, he is that like secret identity and it's like the Peter Parker thing where he doesn't want anyone to know he's Spider-Man. It's almost like Batman is Batman. Bruce Wayne is Batman and Batman doesn't want anyone to know that Bruce Wayne is his secret identity, <laughs> which is, it's hilarious because that's, that's the emphasis that Ben Affleck put on him. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people really like Ben Affleck. I think Eric Bana could do this. And I think that he would be really cool in the role. Now, boss logic did an epic art piece um, showing, you know, it's just him in a suit. He looks really like uh, slick, really like manly, very intense here. You can see Jeffrey Dean Morgan and the, the family that was depicted in, um, uh, what was it? The uh, uh, Batman versus Superman. And, uh, you know, they have that mural on the wall. And then also the shadow is the Batman. And it looks like it might be a Christian Bale Batman um, figure because of how tall the ears are. But 
this looks really good and it's subtle it's not like in the mask or anything but i think it's a good look and um yeah i think he kind of has down here it kind of shows he has like a hybrid look between like christian bale and joe manganello like a really rugged macho dude like joe but also very sharp very clean um like christian bale was so i think his look would be a hybrid but I think it would work very nicely. And Joe didn't play Batman, but he is playing Deathstroke in the DCEU, DCEU currently. So I wanted to just point that out. And again, Eric Bana, six foot two, 50 years old, uh, going from playing the Hulk in 2003 to in 20, I would hope, 20, 2022 or something like that, we'd get another Batman film. Or I think 20, uh, 2020 or 2021 is when we're going to look to see the um, uh, Matt Reeves Batman. So hopefully we'll get uh, some more details about that and who's going to play him. But that's a younger Batman. And then we'll see hopefully another DCEU Batman at some point in the near future, either in a cameo or maybe in the Harley Quinn film. Who knows? So let's keep moving. Next up we have, and I know I'm going to get some flack for this in the comments, but I'm going to explain myself. Yes, freaking yes, Scott Adkins. I am 100% behind Scott Adkins playing Batman. He's 42 years old, only a couple years behind Ben Affleck. Um, he's 5'10", which is considerably shorter than Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is a very tall guy, um, but Scott Adkins is 5'10". It's not, it's not short, but uh, I think no one is better suited for fight scenes than this guy. Some people say he's not that good of an actor. I just think he hasn't been given a chance to play many uh, roles that will allow him to shine in what he's good at. However, Boyka Undisputed, Undisputed is very good. Um, I haven't seen Accident Man. I haven't seen Triple Threat yet. Um, obviously, he was in Doctor Strange as one of the um, disciples of Caecilius. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show this one here. Um, so it shows I, I've seen uh, Ninja 2, uh, Shadow of a Tear. I've seen... Um, uh, close range. I've seen um, Savage Dog, Hard Target 2, Expendables 2. Um, I've seen a lot of his films, not all of them, but he's in his earlier days, he was not that great of an actor, but he stepped up a lot as he's gotten older. Much like I would say um, Kevin Hart, much like I would say um, uh, Channing Tatum, for instance. Not a great actor when he was younger, but now that he's older, he's much, much better. And I think this guy deserves a shot, but specifically because he he freaking looks like the Batman, his fight scenes are unparalleled. There's very few people in the industry that can do what this guy does. And not, not only is he doing all of his own stunts as a stuntman, but he's actually uh, a decent, pretty good actor. I would say pretty good. Some people would argue decent. Some people are, are just like, no, he's not a good actor. I disagree strongly. I think he's I think he's fine. Uh, he's a fine actor. He's no uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, but he's pretty good. And um, I think that you would you would be able to look past some of the some of the dialogue scenes if you if you're not into his style. Once you see him fight, because the best fighter for Batman we've ever gotten ever was Ben Affleck. His film Batman vs Superman had the best Batman fight scenes out of any Batman film ever. And I'm including I'm including the Dark Knight trilogy. I love Christian Bale. I love the Dark Knight trilogy, but the fight scenes just felt so stiff and it was like boxing. It wasn't like Batman. The fight scenes didn't feel like Batman. Didn't feel ninja at all. Um I think there was approximately two kicks from Batman. It was it was kind of weak as far as the fight scenes go and this would turn the tides all the way around it would far supersede anything we've seen even with ben affleck who is the best batman fighter we've gotten in live action probably uh since something i can't mention because it might be a spoiler in something you might be watching but uh yeah i think this would be the best so uh scott adkins is my number one or number two pick for sure and uh there was some really good art i wanted to give a um a shout out to this other guy here there's a video by Fortress of Solitude published uh, on February 3rd, 2019, very recently, with Scott Adkins. Um, he was reposting um, a video, an exclusive video from Scott Adkins doing uh, his Batman reel, his Batman rendition. And he was, um, I'm not going to play the audio for you. It's not my video. But you can see here, you should definitely check this guy's video out. 
he it's like he's talking on the phone with Alfred about a situation and he's basically playing Batman in this demo reel just showing off that he could do that and then at the end this person plugs some of his best fight scenes from Boyka Undisputed and then a couple of I think a couple of his other films or something like that but it shows off the fact that this guy is a freaking maniac and you should do the research don't snub this guy just cuz the mo- the vast majority of his work is stunt work he would be fantastic as Batman. So I'm gonna leave that there. Scott Adkins, uh, 42 years old, five foot ten, a little shorter, kind of closer to that George Clooney range of height, but he's still, uh, I think he would knock it out of the park. And he does actually look remarkably like uh, Ben Affleck. Let me see if I can, if I can find an image of him side by side. This is him as Boyka. You know what's funny? He actually looks a lot like the video game Batman, and he also looks a lot like the animated series Batman. Um, he's got the same like lips <laughs> as the Arkham game, <laughs> which is awesome. And the guy is ripped out of his mind, by the way. Uh, so that's just a that's just a mere side note. But even as he's getting older, he's just getting more and more ripped, and he has he has the physique of Batman more than anybody I've ever seen. Um, so yeah, that I'll leave it that there. So. Next up, we have Carl Urban. Carl Urban is 46 years old. Um, he is six foot one, so again, closer to that taller, um, uh, more great in stature height. Uh, he's been with Marvel. He's done Judge Dredd. He's done Doom. He's done Star Trek. Um, he was recently in Star in uh, Thor Ragnarok as uh, Executioner. And uh, this guy is uh, freaking savage. He's also a huge nerd. I don't know if you've followed his body of work, but he's in tons of nerdy projects, including Lord of the Rings, where he played one of the writers of Rohan, the, one of the princes of the king of Rohan, um, King Theoden. So Carl Urban, um, I wanted to show you guys what I was looking at. There was a couple people who did some edits here of Carl Urban, uh, as Batman. Some people pointed out the fact that the mask from, uh, Judge Dredd, uh, was, in the same kind of alignment as the Batman mask. And he has that same personality when he's in that role. And that was one of the first things that people started to see, Hey, and you know what? He might have a, be able to do the Batman. That would be really cool. So I do think that he would be fantastic in the role. I will say he wasn't my first pick. I had to be persuaded into this, but I do think it would work. He's a fantastic actor. I like him. Um, I think that he would be good in the role. He would look a little bit different, um, in fact, in, to me, he looks more like a Hal Jordan. So that was one that I was considering for another video, but whatever. Um, he does look a lot like Hal Jordan to me, but I think he would be able to pull off the Batman for sure. And so you guys let me know what you think about that uh, down below. But let me just recap his stats. Carl Urban, six foot one, 46 years of age. So uh, right around the same age as Ben Affleck. That's, that's one of the reasons why I had thought to pick this guy. Uh, one of the reasons I thought to pick him. Next up, we have Colin Farrell, uh, who is 42 years of age and five foot ten, and he is um, a really, really good actor. Most people who know this guy, they're thinking back to the days with um, Ben Affleck as Daredevil, and this guy was, you know, fighting this, fighting Ben Affleck's Daredevil as Bullseye. And so as Bullseye, he played a very, very eccentric character, um, just absolutely nuts, absolutely insane. And people mocked him because he was like shave headed, you know, they had a bald cap on him and he was loony in that movie. Um, but the actor is just amazing. Total Recall, uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Him. He's going to be in the upcoming Dumbo, which the trailers, you know, at first I was not interested at all, but the trailers are starting to make me uh, get, get those feels, you know, where you get connected with the film. And I'm very excited specifically to see Colin Farrell. I like this guy. And so I think he would do a good job here. Let's go ahead and skip forward uh, just so we can see. Like he was in Saving uh, Saving Mr. Banks. Um, he was in 2002's Phone Booth. Um, Alexander, SWAT, where he played a, a cop, uh, specifically a, a member of the SWAT. Um, Dead Man Down, here's him in uh, Daredevil. The Recruit, Seven Psychopaths, Minority Report, Tigerland. So he's been in a lot of things that in, re, involve like fight sequences, um, stunt choreography, and I think he would be no stranger to those types of roles, and I think he would do really well, and he looks very much like someone who would play Batman. Um, so here's him. You can see him again as Bullseye. Um, you can see 
uh, next to, you know, for instance, like right here, this one's not a very great side-by-side -side comparison, but he does look a bit like a hybrid between um, uh, Ben Affleck and Christian Bale a little bit. A little bit more of the sharper features that Ben Affleck doesn't have, but he's also, you know, a pretty big guy, Colin Farrell. Or, uh, he's uh, built, rather, not big, but because um, he's only he's only 5'10", I think, which would be the same height as Scott Adkins, closer to the George Clooney range. Um, but nevertheless, I think he would do a really good job in the role. So uh, that was what I was picking there. Let me recap one more time. Colin Farrell, 5'10", 42 years of age. So let me know what you guys think about Colin Farrell as Batman. Next up, we have uh, Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender, 41 years of age, 6 feet tall. He, uh, the Fox deal is getting ready to close. Disney's going to be buying them, and we're pretty sure that Dark Phoenix is the very last of the Fox X-Men we're ever going to see. And with that being said, Michael Fassbender will be free to pick up another superhero role if he wants to, and I think that he would be extremely good, if not to continue with like Marvel as, say, like Doctor Doom, for instance. I think that he would do really, really well as Batman. He's 41, a little bit younger than Ben Affleck by I think like four or five years, but six feet tall, good stature, not as tall as Ben Affleck, but nonetheless, he is very, he's got a very powerful phys uh, physical presence. He was in 300 um, and they had to beef up for that role. I want to show you guys some of these images. A lot of people have been looking at him for the role of Batman. You can see the side by side comparisons here. Um, you can also see it here. Um, there's not a lot of like photoshops that I've found for this one. This one kind of looks almost like a Batman, um, which would be really nice. This one is a little bit more of him as Magneto, but he's also used to playing underneath some sort of a hood, uh, a helmet like this as well. So him as Magneto is not super far off. That's one of the things I said when I fan casted him as Dr. Doom. You guys should check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, but nevertheless, <laughs> how stupid this looks. It's so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, but this, uh, I think, looks really good. So uh, I think Michael Fassbender is one of the most talented actors alive today, especially if you're talking specifically about male actors and specifically about male actors in their 40s. He is one of the best alive. And I think that there's no way he wouldn't do a good job in this. Now, as far as stunt work, I haven't seen him do a whole lot in that direction other than his work in 300. But um you know, obviously, if he's going to be the main focus, he would need to probably bulk up a little bit and then, uh, you know, get into fighting shape for playing the role of Batman. Because that's something that I would really like to see is better quality fight scenes um, with Batman. That would that would really make whoever's going to play him next distinct, which is why I, I like Scott Adkins for the role. But also, I think Michael Fassbender could probably pull it off with, with some training. So... He is my number five. So I'm really excited about that. Um, those are my top five. Let me just recap again really quick. So first up was Eric first up was Eric Bana at six foot two and fifty years old. Scott Adkins, five ten and forty two years of age. Carl Urban was number three, six foot one, forty six years of age, a little bit younger, but um, uh, actually he's right around the same uh, right around the same age as Ben Affleck. So number four was Colin Farrell, five foot 10, 42 years of age. And number five is Michael Fassbender, six foot tall, 41 years of age. Now let's get into the bonus picks. Clive Standin. So Clive Standin, I have at 37 years old and six foot two. So very close to Ben Affleck's height. Um, and he's also uh, a little bit younger, but I think that he looks mature he looks older and it wouldn't be very hard to i don't know maybe like dye his hair like like you know salt and peppery and you can get him to look a little bit closer but the guy's really big and he's no stranger to fight scenes as he's most well known for his role in vikings and uh taken this guy's a savage and so i'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these um not a lot of images for him as Batman, but I wanted to show you maybe some of his like pictures from Vikings, uh, some of his fitness. The guy is a savage warrior, and he would be really good in the role of Batman. I don't know that he would be able to do a lot of like 
ninja type stunt work. He does a lot of hacking and throwing and just punching, which is good. But I think that um, he would be really good to replace Ben Affleck due to his size and his actual frame and build and his face. He actually doesn't look too far off. I mean, he's not a, he's not a twin by any means, but I think that um, he does have a little bit more of a like uh, thicker, uh, more rough, rugged man type of look. Ben Affleck is close in that direction. I think this guy's nose is a little bit bolder than Ben Affleck's, but uh, nevertheless, neither of them have really sharp features, um, but they're both really big, really stacked, and I think he would be a good choice as well. Uh, it'd be nice to see him in a superhero role instead of a little bit more villainous role, which I think he tends to play. So next, uh, let me just recap his statistics for you. Six foot two, 37 years of age is Clive Standen. So next up, we have Jake Gyllenhaal, who was, as you guys already know, he was in talks to, to uh, pick up the role of Batman after Ben Affleck, but those talks fell apart. Jake Gyllenhaal did not take the role, and then he leaped over to Marvel to play Mysterio. So he is not playing Batman unfortunately because I thought he would have been really good he's five foot eleven a little bit a little bit shorter that's not short but it's a little bit shorter uh, than than replacing Ben Affleck 38 years of, of age is young okay so that's a lot younger than I think most of the picks on my list um, the only person younger is Clive Stanton by one year and um, I think that he doesn't he doesn't have the same build but Facially, I think he would be uh, very similar. You could make you could make him feel like a good replacement very easily. He's one of the most talented actors in the business right now. I've always loved Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, if you've seen Southpaw, you know what I'm talking about. The guy is a beast. The guy can fight. The guy can do stunt coordination. The guy's amazing, and uh, he can get jacked. Like j -j -j jacked when he needs to for a role. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys a couple of images. This is one that was literally a Photoshop of Jake Gyllenhaal from an image of Ben Affleck's Batman. So they just, literally just swapped it, uh, swapped the face there. I think this is him again in the cowl. So in the cowl, it doesn't look very different at all. I mean, it, not, not barely. I mean, obviously Ben Affleck's head looks like it's everywhere <laughs> he's got a big head but jake gyllenhaal i think would give that similar look um of ruggedness but also i think he would be a little bit leaner and i think it's important that you know ben affleck's basically the tank of all batman uh actors but i think jake gyllenhaal would be able to beef up but still kind of feel a little leaner and more nimble than ben affleck felt when you're just looking at him although i will say we've never had anyone fight more nimble than ben affleck um which is hilarious because he's a freaking giant okay so that's basically what i wanted to say there there's a couple of really cool images here um that's a that's a cool photoshop i like that it's not the best photoshop i've seen this one's pretty good but uh yeah also also good yep i like I, and i like that that cowl too that's really good it's a little bit blurry the image but you see what i'm saying anyway so very very good uh, recapping his stats, 5'11", and 38 years of age is Jake Gyllenhaal, who is currently with Marvel, doing Far From Home, playing Mysterio. So next up, we have John Stamos, 55 years of age, puts him at, I think, the oldest on my list, if I'm not mistaken, but go with me on this one, okay? John Stamos, you guys already know from Full House from a long, long time ago, ladies' man, pretty boy, um... He's like a lady killer, basically. Not like actually killer, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. The guy is known for being hot, seductive, and he's a charmer. And this is something that I think is important if you're going to have someone play Bruce Wayne. So if you want to lean a little bit more into Bruce Wayne and have a little more Bruce Wayne screen time, um, as opposed to a lot more Batman screen time, I think that John Stamos would be a really good replacement for Ben Affleck. Now, again, he is, I think nine years older than ben affleck but he doesn't look nine years older this is the this is why i'm going in this direction because i don't think he looks nine years older but um he does still have that swagger 
that you would need to play someone like Bruce Wayne. Now, let me go ahead and skip forward. I wanted to show you guys something very interesting. So this is just a few pics of him. Um, he is getting getting up there in age, 55 years old, but um, he still looks charming as all heck. And so take a look at this. Now, one thing that I noticed in uh, very specifically was that he resembled George Clooney quite a bit to me. And when I used to, as a kid, watch Full House, this was after I'd already seen some of the older Batmans with George Clooney. And uh, I would always like think to myself, this guy looks very familiar. I think I've seen him somewhere. And it was because back then I just wasn't familiar with, you know, like uh, totally looks like dot com or any of those things. So, yeah, but he does look a lot like a much more uh, a lot, a lot. I don't know if the word is pretty, a lot prettier, but he looks a lot more like a um cleaner more charming version of george clooney which is difficult to do because george clooney was extremely charming uh that's what he was known for being that like that b the batman with swagger that's what he was and so yeah i think that uh john stamos is a good choice for playing the batman uh it's, and especially taking over for an older batman he's an older dude who looks a lot younger and has that charm has that swag that you would need to play bruce wayne so i think that he would be a really good choice out of the box i know which is why he made my bonus list not my initial list but nevertheless i think that that would be a very very good choice so let me know if you guys think that's stupid <laughs> or let me know if you guys like that idea uh, I want to hear from you down below. Talk to me in the comments, all right? Scroll all the way down and find that comment section, and you'll be able to talk with me there. So uh, recapping his stats, six feet tall and 55 years of age. So next up, Aaron Eckhart, 51 years of age, six feet tall. You guys know him from The Dark Knight. Yes, he was in a Batman movie already, but he played Harvey Dent. He played Two-Face. Harvey Dent, can we trust him? Harvey Dent was amazing. He was one of the best villains we've had. I mean, the Joker, people always rant and rave about Heath Ledger's Joker. Aaron Eckhart as Two-Face was insanely good. It was so, so good. Now, when I first saw him playing Harvey Dent, um, I was taken back to the animated series of Batman where they teach you as the viewer when you're starting to learn about the world of Batman that Harvey Dent was one of Batman's best friends he was one of his closest friends not batman's best friend but bruce wayne so bruce wayne and harvey dent were like best friends best buds bros um they were tight and they were very similar in the comics now aaron heckart is blonde of course but in in the comics and in the animated stuff he was black haired he actually looked quite a bit like um like batman he looked quite a bit like bruce wayne and so Look at the sharp, chiseled features on this guy, on Aaron Eckhart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go forward. Whenever you, If you type in Aaron Eckhart as Batman, you get him as Harvey Dent because obviously he was in Batman as Harvey Dent. But nevertheless, to me, he looked way more like what I always imagined um, Bruce Wayne looking like than Christian Bale ever did to me. Christian Bale has kind of like a, a pointed, like his jaw kind of comes down. His nose is very, very, very thin. Um, even compared to Aaron Eckhart's, but Aaron Eckhart has that chin. He's got the jaw and his voice is very much like Batman. So I think that, I mean, obviously I would still want him to dye his hair. I would still want his hair a little bit darker, uh, closer to black even. But, um, I do think that Aaron Eckhart would make a great Batman if given the opportunity to play him. Um, because that's, if you play Harvey Dent and you play him well, you're playing, someone who is a counterpart to Bruce Wayne. Um, and so I think that that would be really good. I'd like to give this guy a shot. Uh, but again, bonus pick list, not initial list. So let me know if you guys think that's stupid or if you guys think that is totally awesome down in the comments below. Um, so again, Aaron Eckhart is six foot tall, 50 years of age. So now I wanted to give you guys another one that I thought was really, really good really fun you guys are probably going to give me a lot more flack for this even than some of the other picks that i've done so far but that's okay because i want to hear from you guys some of you guys are going to geek out with me on this one hypothetical scenario i know but let's just go all right so lastly we have the great 
Jason David Frank. Jason David Frank is 45 years old and 5 foot 11, just under 6 foot. Not as short as some of the other picks on my list. Not as tall. He's kind of in that middle ground. Um, you guys know him as all of the best Rangers in Power Rangers ever. He was Tommy Oliver in basically everything he ever played. Uh, but he was the he was the Green Ranger. He was the White Ranger. He was the Red Ranger. Um, he was the Black Ranger. He's been a lot of different Rangers um, throughout the years. In a lot of the different series. He even played the Red Ranger in a couple different series. Um, but... I was always he was always my favorite Power Ranger. I grew up on this guy. I think that he would be absolutely legendary to play Batman uh, and replace Ben Affleck. I think he would be awesome. Now he's not he's admittedly not the best actor, but um, he is a fantastic fighter. He is him and Scott Adkins, both of them are literally modern day Chuck Norris. Um, they're both master black they're black belts of several different arts different fighting styles um they're both they both do their own stunts in everything um jason david frank is currently playing uh currently playing bloodshot for the valiant universe uh for all their live action stuff and for bat in the sun and um there was a series uh ninjack versus the valiant universe at, on comicbook.com put on by bat in the sun and uh, it was it was really cool. It was really fun. It was a low budget production that was really good for its budget. And Jason David Frank played Bloodshot. Now he's not going to play Bloodshot in the movie. That's going to be taken up by Vin Diesel. But this guy's amazing, and you can find him at every Comic Con ever. So uh, most of you guys, if you've been to Comic Con, you've seen this guy. You've met this guy. You grew up on him when you watched Power Rangers as a kid or as a youth. Um, and this guy is just he's awesome. I know that this guy would do a really good job playing the Batman, but even if uh, that opportunity didn't come to him, I know that there would be other opportunities for him potentially like on the DC streaming service or something like that. But this is specifically a fan cast for replacing Ben Affleck. So I'm going to go ahead and skip forward. Uh, you guys, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to keep that one short. There's not a whole lot to show here. <laughs> Let's see again. This is a comic con uh, image of him being choked out by uh, a Batman, someone in a Batman outfit. Um, he's a, he's a great sport. He's no stranger to putting on a mask or a costume. He's no stranger to stunts or, or stunt, uh, work or doing his own stunts, being in the suits. Um, he's been doing that his whole life. And most of you guys have seen his work. Now, Power Rangers has never been something that was meant to be like, um, you know, super high, high production or super high, um, budget or any of that. But if you were to give this guy a role where he could be in something with a greater budget, greater production, greater team working on on the stunts, the set, uh, working with him on on the lines and that kind of stuff, he could not he could knock it out of the park. I think probably not as good as some of the other guys on this list. However, I will say it would be a dream come true for me personally to see this guy get an opportunity to play Batman. And it's not like that would be the last Batman we ever saw. We're on like actor number twenty five. <laughs> so, I mean, whoever's going to do this, I'll be number 26 or 27, depending on who gets cast first, Matt Reeves, Batman, or the replacement for Ben Affleck. So, uh, yeah, either way, I think it would be a really, really cool opportunity to have him play the Batman. And finally, we have John Hamm. So, John Hamm is 48 years old, 6 foot 1. He's a good stature. He's a good age for the role. He's really close to Ben Affleck. Um, a couple years older, not a big deal. He's in Madman. He's in Baby Driver, Black Mirror. He was in Tag. Um, he plays people that are usually very classy. Like most of his pictures you find him in, he's in some sort of a suit and tie. You can see this in a lot of things. He's usually dressed up. Um, and he's got a very Batman animated series look. Like he looks like the Batman that most of us grew up watching on the animated series. And I think that he would do a really good job. Most people have him on their lists to play Mr. Fantastic in the Fantastic Four. But I think that this is almost a better choice, is having him play Batman instead. Um, now, I don't know if he would be capable of doing his own stunts. I've never seen him do anything really stunt worthy, but he's a good actor and I really appreciate his ability as an actor. And I think that uh, visually, aesthetically, he looks just like Batman or rather Bruce Wayne. I think there's some fan art as well. So Boss Logic did an art piece of him as Bruce Wayne. You know, you can see Alfred in the bat uh, bat suit in the background. He just got home from you know 
work at Wayne Enterprises, and uh, yeah, a lot of really good, a real, lot of really good like add-ins here on the side. You can see him here in the suit. I think he looks really good. I think he would he would do a really good job. I am I'm and I say that every time because I went through this list to pick guys I thought would do a good job. So when I say that, I'm basically talking with you and saying, yeah, I do I do think that John Hamm would be a good choice for this. So at any rate, that is my final pick in the bonus list is John Hamm, who is six foot one and forty seven years of age. So that's my list. That's my comprehensive list for the Batman. You guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about my list. Who do you like the most? Do you like Eric Bana, Scott Adkins, Carl Urban, Colin Farrell, uh, uh, John Hamm, Michael Fassbender, Clive Standen, Jake Gyllenhaal, John Stamos, Aaron Eckhart, or Jason David Frank? This might have been my biggest fan casting list. But nevertheless, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, thank you guys for going with me on this one. I appreciate you guys. And let's talk in the comments, all right? So thanks, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys getting me to 200 subscriptions. I'm super grateful for that. Um, I can't wait to bring you guys a lot more content all the time. I'm loving doing these fan castings. Suggest to me what you want to see down below in the comments. That's how we communicate. So... Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Uh, and also, I just wanted to say thank you guys. You guys are doing so much for me with the likes, with the shares, with the subscriptions. Um, you guys have gotten my Brightburn trailer video to over 10,000 plays. I'm super excited about that. I, I, I've never seen anything uh, grow so fast. So I appreciate you guys doing that for me. Anyways, you guys rock. You guys are Batman. <laughs> Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, d -Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.